And it looks like we are starting to see um, the first crew member be extracted. Um, I'm not sure if that will be uh, Commander Matt Dominic or Mike Barrett, but it uh, it is typically one of those middle seats because they're easiest um, to reach. So again, you do see uh, that crew member getting some assistance. I can't quite tell who it is just yet. I can only imagine what it feels like to have to stand up after spending nearly eight months in space and having to stand up for the first time with Earth's gravity. <laughs> and that is a uh, NASA astronaut, Matt Dominic, who is now out of the spacecraft. Um, his very first space flight looks like we're getting some handshakes there. High fives all around. For those that have just recently joined us, you can see that the Dragon capsule carrying our crew eight members has successfully splashed down and been recovered from the splashdown site off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. We have just seen the egress or exit of Commander Matt Dominic, who was seated in one of the two center seats. We can see, so we're standing by for the egress of the other three crew members. And on your screen there, some of the recovery team and uh, NASA folks there assisting with the egress. As we mentioned, we, uh, you know, just standard protocol, we always help individuals coming back from long duration space flight. Uh, we always help them, give them some assistance back to the medical base. So. Um, I, I can only imagine that it feels like 100 elephants standing on your shoulders as you have to stand up. Um, this particular mission was in space for 235 days, uh, 232 of them on station. And uh, this ended up being the longest duration mission that Crew Dragon has ever performed. So uh, kind of a cool first there and the longest uh, U.S. Uh, spacecraft flight ever, whether that was through the shuttle program, Apollo, Mercury, Gemini. Um, so that, that's a fun fact. And so it looks like they're working now to extract the next crew member. So we'll stand by to, to see who it is, but I do expect that um, it would be NASA astronaut Mike Barrett, but we'll, we'll confirm that just momentarily. In addition to the individual standing around the outside, there's also a recovery team member inside the capsule assisting with the egress. And that is NASA astronaut uh, Mike Barrett. This is the, uh, he is the veteran on this space flight. The other three flyers on board crew eight were, were all rookies. And so in total, um, Mike Barrett has spent 447 <laughs> days in space. Saw some excitement there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So remaining inside Endeavour is NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps, as well as Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gerbankin. So we'll see who comes out next. You do see those footrests as they are removed from the spacecraft to give a little more space for recovery personnel to assist the crew members out. I think it looks like we might be getting Jeanette Epps next.
So they're continuing to work to get the next crew member out. And you can really see there's there's quite a few folks on the recovery vessel. It just really speaks to all those that are involved with um, helping to make a mission successful. It's the recovery boat personnel, the, the folks in Mission Control Hawthorne and in Houston, um, as well as all around the world, um, those that support the International Space Station. It really is a huge uh, team effort to have a successful mission like this. And uh, in fact, there's 44 people on the recovery vessel, Megan, uh, to help support uh, tonight's splashdown. Once again, we're standing by for the egress of our final two crew members. Yeah, it looks like Jeanette, NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps will be the next one to exit. Due to the limited space inside Dragon Capsule, it's pretty normal to have the two individuals seated in the center seats, so the pilot and commander. Uh, it's pretty normal to have them egress first. As it helps give a little bit more working room there within the capsule for the crew members and the recovery team members. And I do believe that is NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps who is next out. Yep, Jeanette Epps was the next one out. So Ale Alexander Grubankin will be next. Again, this was her first space flight. Some, some quick waves. <laughs> Round of applause. are starting to see Alexander Grubankin um, be extracted from the spacecraft as well. <laughs> Some thumbs up. And we now have all four crew members outside of uh, Crew Dragon Endeavor following their 235 days in space. Some cheers and excitement for Crew 8. That's great to see.